Hey, I'm Sadeep. Uh, I work with the foundation and Ben's team. And here's my friend from India, Bodhi. Uh, he's working with uh, Center for uh, Internet and Society, but he's here in his uh, volunteer capacity. So we're going to talk about uh, knowledge gaps and Wikidata today. So what are knowledge gaps? Uh, as, the, as the name suggests, it is gap in our existing knowledge. But in terms of Wikidata, um, I'm looking at, uh, we're looking at knowledge gaps in two different aspects. One is, how can Wikidata help us in filling the knowledge gaps in, in other Wikimedia projects? And the second um, is, how do we fill the knowledge gaps within Wikidata? Um, for, for the first one, filling knowledge gaps with Wikidata. Uh, Wikidata is helping in a number of ways in filling knowledge gaps on different Wikimedia projects. For example, the article placeholder or uh, another tool uh, is called Scribe is being built. Uh, Wikidata input boxes. All of them are... Uh, <laughs> yes, there was a session about it uh, early this morning or in the afternoon. And, and there are also um, a lot of different templates um, which use uh, Wikidata. And then there are... Um, New templates uh, called Ambable, uh, which are, which uh, along with this area about are, are used to make uh, lists like these. And if you click on uh, one of the topics on this list, you get this draft article. There was a presentation about this in this same room uh, by the Met. Uh, so you get a draft article um, with some with some sentences and the info boxes from uh, Wikidata. But uh, this is not what we are going to talk about here today. Um, we're going to talk about how uh, in India we first have to fill the knowledge gaps within Wikidata so then we can do all these amazing things. So there are knowledge gaps in, the, in, in localization. We need to add a lot more labels in different languages. Um, there needs to be local data about local places, people, so that we can do all those awesome things. But the main aspect of there is to build the community capacity to do all that stuff. So that's where we come to uh, the Indicator study, which this is all about. And how did it all start? That's the person sitting right there, Asaf. He's, he's responsible for all this, for bringing Wikidata to India. Uh, so there, were, uh, there was the first uh, community capacity development training um, with the Tamil community in 2016, where he introduced uh, Wikidata, and then there was a, uh, like a bunch of Wikidatans, super users, like who started contributing to Wikidata, and then in 2017, um, on both our requests, he came to India again and did <laughs> well. Wiki Yatra is like uh, Wiki tr uh, travel in India. He did that. He went to seven different uh, cities, seven different communities at least in India. Uh, where he did wiki Wikidata workshops, uh, mostly like two-day workshops, and all those places. And then in 2018, again, an advanced Wikidata workshop. And, and that has actually helped in like, building some sort of Wikidata community around, uh, around India. And that also got the community engaged. And then we started building Wiki Project India, and then some other projects related to that, such as Wiki Project West Bengal, Indian Railways, or, um, and Kerala, which is like some specific regions in India where the community has been trying to engage themselves and, building, uh, and doing some work around it. And then there have been some more initiatives to engage newbies, such as uh, editathons, or labelathons, datathons, um, with which we have been trying to get more and more people involved. And, 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 and some initiatives around education, workshops in educational institutions. Uh, Asaf also did one of those. Um, yeah, next, Bodhi. Yeah. So, so, so there have been so many workshops in India throughout, uh, all over India from 2017 to 2019. And uh, we are also trying to engage, as Sadeep said, we are trying to engage the newbies in different ways. But still, the number of power users are uh, not very, very much in India. Uh, only very few, maybe five or uh, six people are uh, doing the heavy duty work. Uh, so what are the reasons be for that? So uh, mostly uh, the Wikimedia community is focused in India on other projects, mostly in Wikipedia and s uh, somehow right now in Wikisource. So 
there are very few editors uh, who are very few active editors who are uh, contributing in Wikidata regularly. And India is a multilingual country, so the, there are uh, around 22 Wikimedia projects running in India. So the workforce is uh, totally divided. Uh, so we don't have a focused, like focused uh, group of people who are working on specific areas of Wikidata because they are so much divided in different projects that we have to engage, we have to, uh, try to, we are trying to actively engage them in different ways. And they are spread over a vast region. India is the seventh largest country in the world. And so it's quite difficult to coordinate the entire community, the entire 22 language communities uh, to uh, work on only one project. Uh, so, uh, so we have adopted a different approach. Firstly, the, we are targeting the data gaps, which is easy because there are huge data gaps in India on every topics, almost every topics. And start locally. <laughs> Sorry. So it's one, one, one. Wait, it's one, one. <laughs> Everything is a priority. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, we start locally. So, um, so we, we have thought that the entire country, the data ingestion of entire country is quite difficult. And there are huge databases for India, for, for example, the census databases, the election databases. And if we, if, if we work on the entire country, uh, then it would be really impossible for like five or six heavy duty uh, users. So we, we target one, one place at a time. So that is the map of India. And you can see the bright pink color, uh, that's West Bengal. Uh, so in October 2018 to May 2019, uh, many things happened there. So uh, lots of data was ingested in that part. And after this map was generated, there is a tool for that called Wikidata Analysis, uh, built by AdSource, user AdSource. And after we uh, got this uh, map, uh, we, 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 we shared this with other communities that we have done this for West Bengal, you can do it for your country and this is really cool. And people have started working and there was a direct effect. Uh, Wiki Project Kerala was built just uh, at that time and they, they started working on the schools of India, uh, schools of Kerala and Kerala is situated right here and I couldn't get the, that map right now because the tool is right now down. So anyway, so, so uh, we, we started locally and we inspired, we, we're trying to inspire people uh, from other parts of the country to contribute. And that's what happened in West Bengal, around 40,000 villages with 2001 and 2011 census uh, data was ingested. That's complete data, almost complete data, which could have been uh, ingested in Wikidata. And there were 11,000 government hospitals with coordinates which were ingested. And there was a targeted approach to cross 1 million Bengali levels and so on. There were many things happened, but these were the uh, things which have done in West Bengal at that time. So, so we also uh, try to create cool visualizations from those works we have done because census, election, these are boring data. These are not paintings and also, uh, so we cannot, like this, these are also not glam, glam data and other things. So these are boring data. So we need to find some way to um, make it, for, uh, make it uh, interesting for people. So uh, we have tried some cool queries. This is one of them, there are many others. Uh, so this is the population growth in West Bengal between of villages in 40, uh, around 36,000 villages between 2001 and 2011. And not only villages, we have uploaded census data about uh, uh, every administrative, uh, administrative hierarchy, like community development blocks, districts, um, municipalities, wards, etc., cities, towns. Uh, this is a new tool integrality with 2A and uh, you can see that this is the uh, uh, count of 
hospitals in the in the world and india is right now leading in wiki data 13466 13, hospitals and the blue colors are the data completeness uh, but the funny thing is uh, it's only one area of india it's west bengal there is 11642 hospitals right now so if we complete uh, these all states and there are more and uh, if we complete all those states there would be a huge amount of data uh, about hospitals with coordinates will, uh, which will be there in wikidata and we have a plan to build an app based on uh, based on this, that data so that uh, when a person gets ill uh, he may get uh, we, we, using that app, you may uh, find the nearest location and uh, of of the hospitals. Like these are, uh, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, these hospitals are uh, ranging from primary health centers to tertiary health cares. So with all sorts of uh, facilities uh, available for them so we are, we are, we'll try to uh, ingest all those data in uh, in wikidata if if possible and after completing this task uh, if we build some app uh, then maybe someone a sick person in, in the dire emergency he can find an uh, nearest uh, uh, government hospitals uh, this is another go back oh sorry okay so uh, this is the uh, work which was done for Indian Railways. It was started here, also from West Bengal. And uh, you can change the, uh, you can check the color. The blue color is more complete data, and the green color is slightly not complete, but uh, it's it's going to be, get completed soon. And there are right now 9,000 Indian railway stations with coordinates, obviously, because they are in the map. And right now they have been connected with Pakistan and uh, Bangladesh railways. So we have a plan to connect all the uh, Asian railways one day, someday, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll do, we'll do it. Anyway, so right now in the uh, table, we are in the second position after Japan, obviously. <laughs> And yeah, so this is another cool query visualization uh, uh, showing the uh, flight connections, international and domestic flight connections from India to and from India. So it's like kind of messy, but we can filter it for domestic uh, connections or international connections. So anyway, uh, this is uh, we have also completed the everything about 2014 Indian general election data. And Indian general election is kind of complex uh, set of data because uh, there are so many political parties, so many elections, not like two party elections. Uh, so there were like 6,000 political parties which participated in Indian, uh, I think 600 six, six or something, sorry. Mm. So <laughs> anyway, so yeah. And there were uh, so many candidates you can imagine. And some of them have the same name like in one constituency there was like three people with the same name <laughs> so that was like funny thing and uh, but yeah we completed those data uploading those data in wikidata right now only to 2014 indian general election has been done we don't have much user in wikidata heavy heavy duty wiki, uh, user in wikidata in india so anyway, so currently we are uploading GeoSafe files of constituency. And in West Bengal, we have already uploaded uh, 43 uh, constituencies, GeoSafe files of constituencies, and, and also the Sikkim. The rest of the part of India has not been done. So we, when it will be completed and when it will be, uh, when we will upload uh, other uh, uh, in, uh, election data, right, like 20, 2009 or before that, We'll uh, create cool animations that's uh, showing how uh, uh, how the voters have changed their minds from like centrist to rightist or leftist to rightist. Anyway, so so in the pipeline there is a, there are schools, bank branches, post office, geo, geo safes, elections, and many more. Um, 
cinema yeah <laughs> of course cinema monuments. and uh, monuments and most of them will be completed within few months and in not so distant future we will try to upload weather data um, there are not much good property for weather right now in wikidata and that's that's why we are not touching it right now but we'll we'll do it also uh, bibliographical data for indian literature is also very less in wikidata and there are there are there are some there will be some institutional partnerships uh, there are some primary talks already and maybe we will have some good news in future uh, so the other ways to engage we have uh, created some sub pages of wiki project india uh, we have created a skill share initiative started a skill share initiative where people who have slightly more knowledge in wiki data can share something with other people uh, on one to one basis or mass approach in online or offline way we have also started a newsletter a quarterly newsletter the first version has been published in october first issue has been published in october 2018 and we are showcasing cool visualizations in social media in facebook and twitter channels of wikidata india every day so uh, these are the links you can find them there thank you so much bodhi uh, as you can as most of you can already guess bodhi is from that that part of india the west bengal <laughs> where they have done all that work at, <laughs> so yeah like so the west bengal community in india has been uh, really doing this amazing work and this needs to go to the other parts of india which needs more capacity development uh, which needs uh, more trainings also more coordination in india um okay but I, i would like to end this with how you can help in identifying some of the knowledge gaps and like in taking that conversation forward which is not directly related with this talk but uh, but there is a wiki project identifying knowledge gaps you can join that and share your um thoughts we are also trying to use how we can use property p5008 which is um on the focus list for a specific project how we can use that to surface certain topics for um for contests or uh, other events and in the end we would like to thank you also we would like to thank you uh, uh, thanks asaf and mahir uh, and tito who are another like two power users of wikidata we would like to sincerely thanks everyone thank you so much questions <laughs> so we have only 5 minutes for questions and answers <coughs> yep there's a question there Um thank you so much for your presentation. Um is the census data what exactly kind of data is that that you've been ingesting? It's not for individuals, is it? It's more like population and stuff like that. It's it's population data mainly, demographic data. Okay, and are there any other things that are being asked in the census? Uh like um um uh, per per village uh, gender yeah. yeah. uh it, um i was i was a little involved with that so i remember what the data looks like per per settlement in india per village town you have the total population the masculine versus feminine population the literate versus illiterate population within that you have also a separation by gender so you know how many illiterate males there are versus how many illiterate females there are uh it's it's actually quite detailed there are hundreds and hundreds of of pieces of data per village uh only some of them uh, have been modeled on wikidata huh? but yes of course no no individual census data sometimes countries get weird yep um so i wanted to ask you about the label ingestion or the translation of labels you do um how did you do that do you use tools how do you get people to edit in their native language and translate the labels so yeah mostly tabernacle hmm. and 
quick statement. Those who can use quick statements. All right, cool. But also at the same time, like using labelathons as an activity to engage more and more people to like to do that activity. Hmm. Asaf, the hero. <laughs> note of tabernacle uh, I just want to mention for anyone who may be not aware um, all of us here use Wikidata and related tools which means all of us have used tools by Magnus the amazing tool builder I just wanted to point out that he's here at the conference so if you haven't had a chance yet to thank him for his amazing amazing work that enabled so much impact do so today I'm not sure if he's into hugs but you can just thank him Yep. Who is the skill share working? Skill what do share. you do? What are the results? So, response is still low. Mm -hmm. okay. But yeah, there are, uh, we, uh, we have uh, like five people have, five or six people have already requested and we have completed those. Yeah, it's, it's going on. Like we still need to surface the, the value of Wikidata. Like we, I think we haven't really been able to do that. Also, we haven't been able to connect with other projects they're they already doing, like, for example, Wikisource or Wikipedia, like how this, like we need to communicate that in a better way to the larger community who is contributing, who's just like uh, getting up and creating a Wikipedia article. Like how do we involve them and bring them here? That's still a problem. And Bodhi is sh showing the census data. Bodhi, can you please explain? <laughs> so, yeah. So this is population data from 2011 census, 5007 and 2001 uh, Indian census data. This is one village. So there are like 36,000 villages or 40,000 villages for this. This is the male population, female population, number of households, illiterate population with male, female uh, population qualifiers, uh, literate population and illiterate populations and so on. And this is the census code for 2001-2011. Okay. I just want to say that I love your presentation. And uh, I wanted to talk nearly about the same thing tomorrow. So I, I will, it will be great because tomorrow I will just say, what just frame from this one? So <laughs> make my life easier. Uh, um, what I wanted to do, well, to talk about, but I think the... Uh, wiki project you're starting or Wikidata will do that is how to engage people not working about India directly but like yeah, yeah. I have tools about names but I don't deal with Indian names because I am not sure I understand the order of name and I don't want to do something massively wrong so better to be careful but I just need like two hours with someone who understand all the problems and I can have an automated tool and deal with thousands and upon thousands of items. And I think there are many, many tools already doing some automated description and things like that, for which we don't actually need uh, people um, every day. We just need like 10 minutes time for someone to tell me uh, how to say family names in a dozen languages and then it just added to the tool, and uh, you probably know uh, the auto description tool. But if you just ask the people who are using it massively to just add the Indian languages, then you have all Wikidatian doing the same work for you. And um, actually, it's a problem we have uh, on. Uh, I am helping uh, African community build up their Wikidata and Wikipedia, so it's not the same problem, but nearly the same problems. Um, and that's the problem we have, which is actually bridging the gap between the biggest Wikidatian. We are do I am doing works in languages I don't know a word of, uh, but it's, it's this kind of adoption system, like I need a, a native speaker to tell me what I can do without problem on all the complicated cases, and everything that, that I can automate, I will automate. And um, I, it's just an idea, but do you think it would be like a, a good idea to create not the specific wiki knowledge gap on Wikidata, but uh, 
matching uh, mm. um, a matching system like hey I am working on this subject and uh, do you want to uh, ask me for that like a, a yeah a matching tool like to connect people uh, to connect people okay. across languages uh, mm. yeah so that was my idea because I think uh, some of the African communities I am helping would really, really love what you are doing, but mm. none of them speak Indian, and we, we just need to have uh, like pivot people to create the link and make all this even more powerful, and I really, really love what you are doing, so thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to Bodhi for all the awesome work. And doing a lot. <laughs> yeah, and the larger Indian community. But yeah, that's a really good idea. I think we should take that up. Um, but as a movement, we have not been doing the sharing thing pretty good. Um, we need to figure out how do we do that because there are like awesome tools. One is one has built, but the others don't know about. Like that's a larger problem. But yeah, and that's a, a a piece that fits into the larger problem we should be solving someplace. Yeah, let's let's figure out where we can do that. And thank you. <laughs> Great.